Good morning. Uh, today I'm going to be going through some more for Code Camp. <clears throat> so um, to start, I'm going to jump back into <clears throat> where we left off. I'm going to share my screen. <clears throat> All right, so today uh, we're working on compound assignment with augmented addition. <clears throat> and I'll get this code and <clears throat> All right. so turn it on as well. See what our status is. Challenge seventeen, augmented addition. <clears throat> To our code. I'm going the shortcut for that. All right, so in programming, it is common to use assignments to modify the contents of a variable. Remember that everything to the right of the equal sign is evaluated first. So we can say my bar equals my bar plus five, semicolon, <clears throat> to add five to my bar. Since this is a common pattern, there are operators which do both a math mathematical operation and assignment in one step. One such operator is the plus equals operator. So as we can see here, they've used the plus equals to do the same thing that they did up here. So basically, these steps are simplified into two characters rather than equals my var plus. All right. So we can see that one plus five would return six. Convert the assignment for A, B, and C to use the plus equals operator. It's already done that, hasn't it? Uh, let me reset all the code. I think this was, yeah, okay. I had to reset it because I had already done it. <clears throat> okay, so we can get rid of this A because we just want to do plus equals. We can get rid of this B. Actually, let's console log this. So everything we're doing, we should console log. So A, so that's three plus two. And now, <coughs> I need to learn more shortcut, shortcuts about the copy and paste. But. All right, <clears throat> so we can get rid of this variable and it add a plus. So simplify this and also do that. And for the kicks of it, let's set another variable. Set of R D equals 20. And D plus equals, let's do this, let's do C, and let's see what that does. Console log D 
to you. All right. So not only do we use these, we created our own variable. And I also added D to another variable. And let's do plus so another one. Let's do B plus A. So we add all the numbers that equals 70. All right. Yeah. So I'm just doing a quick look at the math. Uh, yeah, that looks like it's right. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so neat. All right, let me just grab this little code snippet. <clears throat> and I'll just drop it in my editor. I really got to figure out. I don't think this is the best way to do this, but it's uh, just practice. So who cares? <clears throat> this console log is probably. Super full. <laughs> All right, so challenge 18. Wait. And let's get the name of this one. Compounded assignment. Code. Oh, am I gonna? I should not do that. Um, take all this stuff out and run the code. A should equal fifteen. All right, so it's adding 10. Right. Compounded assignment with augmented subtraction. Like the plus equals operator, minus equals subtracts a number from a variable. My var equals my var minus five will subtract five from my var. This can be written as my bar minus equals. All right, so similarly, this is subtraction. So we, instead of using a plus, can use a minus to equal all of this. So the variable itself, if it's itself repeated, then we can take all of this and it becomes this. Um, so that comes in handy because one, it is less code and then um, two, it's just a lot cleaner and Anywhere that we can write less code, that's preferable. Uh, I won't even console like this. Uh, I don't think we got this one <clears throat> from the other one and from previously. All right, and then we could do the same thing with multiplication. The asterisk equal operator multiplies a variable by a number. My var equals my var asterisk five will multiply my var by five. This can be written, rewritten as my var asterisk equals. So similarly, um, we can get rid of our variable. And instead of a variable repeated, we can simplify it to assume that whenever we see this, that it's actually meaning the variable itself multiplied by 10. Um, 
which comes in really handy. All right. Compound assignment with augmented division. All right, so lastly, we've got to go through division one once again. Uh, the uh, forward slash equals operator divides a variable by another number, my var equals my var. This can be rewritten as my var forward slash equals five. Convert the assignment for A, B, C to use the forward slash equals operator. All right, so to get rid of our variables that are repeated and we just hammer this home with all of the operators. Sorry, I got an interruption. But, uh, all right, I'm here. All right, let's go back to the next lesson. I'm going to go through the VS Code and add my comments. <clears throat> Traction. So minus equals. What's our classification? Is there somewhere? And division. That is augmented forward slash equals uh, simple solutions so not included. Okay, let's go challenge twenty one. So what it is. <clears throat> Previously we have used the code var my var <clears throat> equals your name. Your name is called a string literal. It is a string because it is a series of zero or more characters enclosed in single or double quotes. Create two new string variables, my var and my last name, and assign them the values of your first and last name, respectively. All right. <clears throat> my right, var my first name equals uh, Elliot. And for my last name equals Sanford. And I'm sure we'll do this next, but let's just go ahead and do it. So full name, our full name equals my first name plus a space 
plus my last name. And in ES6, we'll learn some new techniques for this, but for now, this is okay because we haven't gotten to those yet. So, full name is going to equal alias entered. And you can console log your other things, but um, I didn't know that. Um, as an Excel expert, I had been basically doing this already for like the past four or five years um, that I was creating variables and then I would output them into forms and things like that. So I've got a lot of practice with that kind of stuff. Escaping literal quotes in strings. When you're defining a string, you must start and end with a single or double quote. What happens when you need a literal quote, double quote, or single quote inside of your every string? In JavaScript, you can escape a quote from considering it as an end of string quote. Var Sample string equals Alan said, comma, backslash, double quote. Peter is learning JavaScript, backslash, quote, double quote, period, quote, semicolon. So we can see that the combination of a backslash and the double quote the editor compiler will interpreter will um, recognize this combination as uh, the person creating and designing the code is wanting to communicate that this is still part of the string and it's not the end of the string uh, without this this would be a string um, this would just be text uh, out there in the world that's not connected to um, a string. And then this, would, this period would be a string itself. But um, because of this combination, it allows us to work with double quotes or single quotes um, <clears throat> inside of the string. Um, this signals to JavaScript that the <coughs> that the following quote <coughs> is not the end of the string, but should instead appear inside the string. So if you were to print this to the console, you would get, Alan said, Peter is learning JavaScript. So we can see that it recognizes this. This becomes this. Use backslashes to assign a string to the my string variable so that it, if you were to print it to the console, you would see I am a double quote. I'm a quote, double quote, quote, string inside, quote, double quotes quote. All right, so I am a backslash double quoted backslash string inside of in or inside backslash double quotes all right and you can also tell if you've done it properly if your comments return to being 
uh, the green color. So um, the color schema of your editor will will kind of give you the cues that okay you've done something right because we're recognizing right we're recognizing this as a string uh, and this is commented out so it'll return to the color of comments and let's console log it to equal my string and it does that. I'm not sure what this is doing. That's interesting. I think it's just automatically supposed to be doing that, I guess. But that's interesting. Uh, um, uh, it's calling me out because I left off one of these. Uh, let's do one more. Okay, I forgot to do this final one. Shame, shame. Uh, okay. I am a double quoted string inside double quotes. What am I missing? Oh, uh, okay. I need to have this period. Aha. JavaScript, man. JavaScript. It can, often it'll come down to the finest of details. You'll see when you're coding. And <clears throat> if, if you're watching this and um, you've gotten to this point, kudos to you. But if you're watching this and you're not actively coding with me, then um, I would highly suggest going back to the beginning and coding along with me because this is where the learning happens. You won't learn how to deal with a missing period or a missing uh, back, backslash double quote, you won't, you won't learn how to do that unless you are in the editor yourself making mistakes. And um, that's, that's part of why I'm doing this is uh, to willingly make my own mistakes. Because if you're trying to be perfect, and you're trying to never make a mistake, then programming is probably not something for you. But, uh, and, I, and I don't say that to like discourage people. I'm saying that to help you understand that it's necessary to fail and you will fail a lot. And you should just go ahead and get all your failing out of the way. Um, if there's failure to happen, then go ahead and uh, make those mistakes because it's because of those mistakes that we grow and we become knowledgeable to a point that we don't make those mistakes again um you know it's best to make those mistakes a handful of times and learn from them than to uh, just watch somebody else do the tutorial so um highly highly suggest that and at any point if you're struggling and you have questions please post something in the comments uh or um ask a question through discord or any of our channels, uh, you can always hit me up at, at Techie Elliot. Um, that's my Twitter handle. You can DM me. Uh, I'm always available. So, um, <clears throat> especially for free code camp questions like this, if you're struggling with something and you you um, just need somebody to kind of 
walk with you. Uh, please hit me up. I'm always available for this kind of thing and uh, make time for it because um, I learn myself whenever I, I work with uh, others for learning in our, uh, in our environment, in our community. So um, please um, don't be shy. I think that's, um, I think that's something that I've been assuming since the beginning that you've been doing, but if you've not been, uh, then please, um, I would invite you to do that because you're not going to learn if you're just passively going through these tutorials and not actually typing anything into free code camp yourself. Um, we don't learn that way for whatever reason. Um, it, it takes actually, you know, user engagement on your side of it. <clears throat> All right. So sorry about my little aside there, but I think we are here. And I think, I think I'll just try to get to these next couple ones and then I'll call it a day. But let's see, did I do that one? Yeah, I did that one. That was the last one I did, escaping. And, okay, so here we are. <clears throat> String values in JavaScript may be written Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Okay, string values in JavaScript may be written with single or double quotes as you start and end with the same type of quote. Unlike some other programming languages, single and double quotes work the same in JavaScript. So double quotes, this is a string, single quote string, this is also a string. <coughs> the reason why you might want to use one type of quote over the other is if you want to use both in a string. This might happen if you want to save a conversation in a string and have the conversation in quotes. Another use for it would be saving an A, an anchor tag, with various attributes in quotes, all within a string. Conversation equals Finn exclaims to Jake, algebraic. So we see the double quotes that are sunk within a single quote string. And that outputs just this. This will be output, everything there, the other stuff won't be. However, this becomes a problem if you need to use the outermost quotes within it. Remember, a string has the same kind of quote at the beginning and end. But if you have that same quote somewhere in the middle, the string will stop early and throw an error. So good string equals Jake asks Finn, hey, since there's a single quote there, they use that, let's go on an adventure. <clears throat> So there's a quote within that. All right. So this is a bad string. Finn responds, let's, so there's a bad string because of that. So basically it would end there. And this, well, this is a really jacked up one because there's no back ticks, backslashes. I mean, um, yeah, this is, this is problematic. This part is problematic, and then this part is also problematic because there's no, there should be a backslash there, or no, no. If there were a backslash here, 
then I think it would be fine. But because that's not there, then it, it just is problematic. In the good string above, you can use both quotes safely by using the backslash as an escape character. Yeah, so the backslash as an escape character is critical. The backslash should not be confused with the forward slash. They do not do the same thing. Forward slashes, if you remember, are used for comments, uh, forward slash, forward slash, and forward slash. Asterisk is uh, the, the way to create a multi-line comment. And um, so don't confuse those um, backslash. They do not do the same thing. Change the provided string to a string with single quotes at the beginning and end and no escape characters. All right. All right, so we can use that. And we can use that. No escape characters. And Single and double quotes. So let's do a single. And let's do a single. And let's do a single. And let's do a single. Actually, I think I messed this up. I think I have to do single quotes at the end. I'm doing this backwards, but that's okay. Wait a minute. I shouldn't do this backwards, but I should do this forward. Okay. So there's single quotes, and inside of those are strings with double quotes. Um, right now, the anchor tag in the string uses double quotes everywhere. You will need to change the outer quotes to single quotes so you can remove the escape characters. OK. Oh, it's giving me an error. Should always check that. All right, so mm -hmm. I wonder why it's still giving us an error. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering why it's doing that. Let's see. Oh, because of this. Yeah, okay. So that should be a double quote there. That's why. Again, another example of one misplaced detail and the entire thing did not work. But it's important to fix it. All right. Quotes are not the only characters that can be escaped to a string. There are two reasons to use escaping characters. First is to allow you to use characters you might not otherwise be able to type out, such as backspace. Second is to allow you to represent multiple quotes in a string without JavaScript misinterpreting what you mean. We learned this in the previous challenge. All right, so we've already learned about single quote, double quote, uh, backslash, backslash. Uh, we've learned about now new line. So this would be a return character, carriage return. <clears throat> Tab, so this would be a tab. This would be a backspace. This would be a form feed. Note that the backslash 
itself must be escaped in order to display a backslash. So to get a backslash, we must escape to have the backslash. Assign the following three lines of text into single variable my string using escape sequences. <clears throat> okay, so first line. All right, <clears throat> let's get it here and saying change it there. Um, so let's start with the first line. And actually, let's close the quote. Usually, when you're working in the editor, it will. <clears throat> whenever you create a string, it would it would give you both automatically. So it's good it's good practice probably just to start <clears throat> with that. Then that way you're always working with green here. Um, all right. So first line. And then we want a new line. So that is backslash n and oh, why it's doing that. Okay. Backslash n and then we want a tab, so backslash t and then backslash backslash second line and then backslash n third line. All right, so it's already produced our string. <clears throat> you will need to use the escape sequences to insert special characters correctly. You will need to follow the spacing as it looks above with no spaces between escape sequences or words. Here it is. Oh, excuse me. Here is the text with the escape sequences written out. All right. I think we successfully did that. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and get this code snippet. And go to our VS code. So 21 through 23. Uh, escape. <clears throat> <clears throat> and let's get this little snippet here. This was helpful. Code output. Selection. Okay. Commented. All right. Let's come back. All right. That should work. Um, <clears throat> all right, so we've gotten to concat, and I think that's a decent stopping point. Um, I'm not sure how long we've been recording, but um, that, that should do it for today. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> for the remainder of the day, uh, do some reading in MDN, uh, where we left off, and also do some eloquent JavaScript reading the intro and chapter one, if you've not done so, I think um, that would be good uh, for our reading today. <coughs> and, um, <coughs> sorry, I got my cough and clearing my throat throughout, but uh, if you've made it to this point, I appreciate you guys attending. Um, if you would, please leave a comment so that I know that you got to this point and also give us a subscribe, uh, a subscribe and um, if you could post this on your social media Facebook Twitter um, whatever you're most involved in LinkedIn even um, please post that and um, um, also if you're 
a part of our community <clears throat> and you've gotten to this point, then um, please be sure to join our Discord channel. Uh, I'll put a link to that here. Uh, but uh, if you've made it to this point of Free Code Camp, then um, you've clearly proven that uh, you're wanting to learn. And um, we like to be a community for you. I think um, uh, not everybody knows about this, but there's a community chat that we have. <clears throat> I would encourage you to go to this welcome and um, just read it through once. Um, John has put a lot of emojis here, but uh, um, anyhow, just read through this, um, you know, add your intro. Uh, we usually speak just generally in the community chat. Um, we don't use this as much, uh, uh, or this is somewhat helpful, but uh, I would definitely encourage you go go through and um, read the intros, encourage other people. Um, <clears throat> let's see if there's any new people. Uh, you know, yeah, like read through these people, like Mesfin is one of our, our participants. Um, you know, go, go slap him some new emojis. He needs some new ones because he's cool. And um, Sam is another one. Uh, let's give Sam another emoji. He, he, he needs a, a W3 develop stamp. And uh, and then Jonathan is uh, the W3 develops guy. Uh, did I get him an American flag? Yeah, okay, he gets the W3 develops stamp. And um, yeah, but read through these. These are really cool people. Um, uh, Belma's got a Java group going. Um, but uh, yeah, take the time to um, to to share some love with with these people. Uh, we commonly make announcements about things that are going on. Uh, but uh, yeah, the majority of things happen in this community chat, and um, you know, <clears throat> uh, like we post our learning group videos from time to time. Um, I've also got this group set up for. Um, my name is Elliot, so. Um, but I've been posting our videos here. I've also created a playlist of these videos. <clears throat> Please go to um, uh, our channel here on YouTube, and you'll see that I've posted these videos here. And um, sorry. yeah, you know, give us a like. Um, all right, sweet. Way to go, Kara. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, Kara is also another one of our participants. Uh, she's been working with us, um, learning. Uh, she was here yesterday, and uh, I hope each of you will be involved. Um, we'd like to give you shout outs, you know, in the, on our social media for participation uh, because the end goal is that everybody would um, be able to get a job and that they would, you know, just go out in the world and prosper. Uh, that's the whole point of this is that everybody would learn the skills that are employed, employable, and um, that uh, it would help you in your, your progress. Um, this was our last one that we recorded. Um, and you can also come if you're trying to catch up. We have a playlist set up. Um, I've created those here. Go ahead and listen to both of these. Uh, you know, I think we've got four videos already. Uh, we'll have this video again uh, today. Uh, it'll go in this JavaScript playlist. So, but anyhow, I just wanted to go ahead and take that moment. Uh, tomorrow, uh, I'll try to talk about LinkedIn some. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Um, and also, uh, if you're watching this, I've set up a, um, uh, I use the TweetDeck. Uh, let me just stop that for a little bit. I use the TweetDeck 
Um, <clears throat> but um, I've created a list. If you're interested in subscribing to this, I'll put uh, I'll put a subscription to uh, to this in the in I'll put a, a link to the in the description. Uh, but uh, anything that me or DK or um, Belma uh, W3 develops each of these people if 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 you know we're posting, then uh, it'll pop up here in this feed, and you know you can come in here and you know look at it and give it a like you know and, and those kind of things so it's always here and pops up for you to give it a like <laughs> dk um yeah but anyhow uh i think that's plenty of recording for today um i hope everybody can make it back tomorrow but um, if not, I'm glad you joined us here and uh, we look forward to uh, just seeing what everybody's building and um, don't forget to save your work. So I'm gonna do that real quick before we get off the call. And <coughs> let's save this as um, three, I think it was a little further than that, actually. Yeah, I think it was 23. That's okay. All right. I'll, I'll check this later. I'm just going to go ahead and commit it. And send. So now we have to check everything. Get status. It's up to brand up to date with Elliot's branch. And let's see the magical I was having an issue with my heat map earlier. Yep, there we go. Hmm. I have to check on this. My heat map's been doing some funky stuff. <clears throat> but um maybe give it a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check on my heat map. But anyhow, uh thanks for checking in and uh please leave a comment so that uh everybody knows that that you're involved and um we'd be glad to uh help you. Um it won't come, the, the comment won't come directly to me, but I'll try to look through these comments from time to time and uh, give you some feedback. Uh, but uh, you can also uh, mention me. Uh, I think uh, my, I don't know that I'm Techie Elliot on YouTube. I think I'm Elliot587. Uh, so, but uh, yeah. Try to mention me and I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. But um, anyhow, I'll uh, stop the recording, but uh, thanks for stopping by.